Hey YouTube, so I thought I'd do an update video on my uh, 21 and a half inch late 2012 Mac, iMac, Apple computer. I haven't did an update since I got it like in July or June, I think it was June I got it. And it's uh, it's got a 2.9 gigahertz Intel Core i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM, 1600 megahertz DDR3. Um, it's It's got my least favorite hard drive in there. It's got a Hitachi one terabyte, 5400 RPM, but it does edit videos though. I'm surprised for 54. It's a 2.5 laptop drive, inch laptop drive. Uh, the graphics is not my favorite. It's got the Nevada GeForce GT 650M 512MB. Um, I'll get in a moment, I'll get the um, the hard drives. Uh, yeah, it's got two sticks of four gigs installed in there. Um, I gotta pull up the system report here. I don't want you guys to see my serial number here just because. Okay, here we go. I got I gotta make it bigger here. Just one second here. take a minute to focus guys it's just you know it is okay it's an HTS 541010A9E662 Hitachi um, one terabyte 5400 rpm it says there that's what it is 32 buffer I think I don't know for sure um, yeah it's I do all my editing on there I was I, I couldn't do it on my Windows PCs. I'll show you these are my these are my Windows PCs down there and I do not use them. I uh, turned them on yesterday and I really really hate it. I turned this computer on and that other one they both locked up right away. Um, I tried to go to start and settings to check for Windows updates. it just kicks it off. Both computers do it, and they haven't been turned on since November, uh, or probably October, I should say. And I turned them on again, or I tried it again, and I went to settings about five million times, and it, both of them just wouldn't load settings. It just closed it out, and so I unplugged it in the back. I was like, screw it. So I unplugged it, and plugged it back in. I don't care if it wrecks it. Plugged it in, turned it on, and then it worked. So I don't know. Both of them did the same thing. I both unplugged at the same time. Um, and they both were acting stupid and and they don't have viruses because they got both got clean installs of Windows 10 and you know please note that Windows 10 sucks I really hate Windows 10 um, that's the reason why I bought an Apple because everybody's been asking me why did you buy an Apple computer? They're no better than Windows. They get viruses. Yes, I know they get viruses. I know that. I know they get malware pretty bad. And I got everything taken care of. I don't get malware or anything or anything on there. But I've had... what well, The reason why I got it is is for editing. And then the second thing is that Windows or Microsoft in general is not user friendly anymore. Uh, why do I say that? That Microsoft forces you to upgrade without permission. They forced to upgrade Windows 10 out that Windows 10 on my computer without permission. Yes, they did. They forced an update without my permission and screwed everything up on my computer. And, it, and then it, I couldn't roll back, and it kept blue screening, and it eventually wrecked all my data, so I lost all that. So that's another thing Microsoft fucked up again. I'm, I'm gonna swear. I'm I'm very upset. And to edit a HD video, let's say I make a 33 minute video like I usually do on this Apple and I edit it down to 15 minutes in the vlog. Well, if I did that on the Windows PC using my expensive editor on there, it would take at least three days to edit and render the video. The things are junk. It don't matter what processor is in there, this stupid piece of shit would not work. It'd lock up and it would stick and it overheat and you'd have to have the fans wide open on them stupid things. And um, <laughs> I got Psycho Dad on the background there. Just, I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so I was going to show you. Um, it's not the fastest world. I'll shut it down. 
it shuts down really fast but it's not the fastest in the world like I said yeah it's dirty it's got smudge marks okay it's turning off it like I said I didn't get it for speed I actually got it because Mac does not force crap on you all right here we go and this does take a while here um, takes quite a while uh, but like I said Apple does not force stuff on me Apple does not uh, upgrade their operating system like every year like they come out with what's they they had Windows XP that for many years so they come out with Windows Vista that was a screw up then they come out with Windows 7 that was pretty good and then they come out with Windows 8 that was a screw up and they come out with 8.1 that was a screw up and they come out with Windows 10 that was a screw up now they're coming out with another operating system I see they're bragging about it now and I don't know if it's me or are they just stupid and now they got to charge for Windows 10 upgrades and I don't really think much of it and Apple upgrades your operating system for free it's still loading but I gotta enter my password in here that's one good thing about Apple too they require a password on everything so if somebody tries to buy something on your account you can't you know okay it's up already there it is so but it does take a long time to load iMovie I'll show you that see it's bouncing there it does take a long time sometimes it really depends but like I said I got a lot of files on here um, the one terabytes more than half full so it's going to be awful slow and that's probably not a good idea for these computers, um, especially if you're going to run the primary master hard drive with all them files. It just makes it awful slow. Um, I didn't know what to put for a background. I usually just have my cat on there, but I thought, well, I'll put Psycho Dad on there. <laughs> so, yeah, I clicked it, but it's it's slow. Like I said, I just turned the computer on. Okay, there it come up. See, here's the files I last rendered on there. Everything there and uh, I just go up there and quit iMovie and like I said there's things like I said it'll do the spin spinning pinwheel it will lock up once in a while it um, will act up and be stupid like Safari is glitching on it it's uh, like yeah see it's locked up now it'll go but Safari keeps crashing and locking up and that's part of this new update that they come out with with a uh, um, I have to force quit it. Sometimes it just doesn't want to quit. It's not responding. Yeah, see, it's just, it's, I'll show you here. I'll go to the update here. They come out with this new update and it just screwed up, you know, and my, Microsoft's not the only one. They came out with this uh, 10.1, or no, 10.12.2, and that would come out December 13, and that's what screwed everything up. Now, I, Safari is locking up iMovie is locking up and Skype is locking up. Everything locks up. You have to force quit it all the time. I don't know why. And sometimes you can't force quit. Sometimes you have to turn the computer off by unplugging it. So, um, so they need a they need to update that. That's one bad thing about iMac that they don't uh, update. You know, customers tell what's wrong with their product and they just don't seem to listen or push out updates, especially. My iPhone is the same way. The keyboard's glitchy since the iOS 10 on there. It wasn't. I had 9. Point something on there, and it wasn't glitchy until iOS 10. But they all have their flaws. But Microsoft, I don't know about them guys. They're they're a bunch of baloney. I don't really care for them. But I just thought I'd give you guys a quick update. You know, well, I don't know if it's quick, but let you guys know it's been working good. I've been using malware bytes. Anti malware is a malware scam. Then I also use Bit Defender virus scanner, and I don't know if I trust that this one here, but it's been working good. And also, one thing I do I shouldn't run on this computer is Norton. I got Norton on there, and that takes up a lot of lot of RAM, and that makes it slow. And uh, you know, um, so I have Norton on there because you know uh, Max can get viruses. Yes, they can. Uh, no doubt about it. Uh, I gotta make sure I quit that. Yeah, okay, I did. So, like I said, um, guys, just gonna let you know that uh, 
Mac is not all up what it's cracked up to be and I'm not bragging about how good Mac is. Mac is good enough to get me to point A to point B. Like I say, like a car. Windows 10, no. I could. iMovie is a lot faster when you render the video. It only takes two minutes or less for a 30 minute video. So, yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? So, I gotta, just want to reach my limit here. Okay, I'm back. I'm gonna keep vlogging and tell you this. I'm gonna make up quite a long video here. So, my opinion on Windows 10. Now, Windows, I like Windows though, kind of still. I like it because they can play my games, like The Sims and stuff. I don't know about Mac. I don't think they may, they might. I uh, bought a, The Sims 3 or 4 on Amazon like many years ago, and Windows 10 luckily runs it. Um, but I didn't, I didn't check on my Mac. I don't know if it will. I doubt it, but... I don't really play it much anyway, but it just to let you know that Windows has their good things and Mac has their good things and Windows has their bad things and Mac has their bad things. It's I don't know the, how to explain it to you guys. You know, there I got a friend that is a Windows PC lover. He likes, I think he likes Microsoft to be honest. I don't know for sure. Madam Maroy, uh, he watches my videos and stuff, and I watch his videos. I don't comment on there because. He's got so many, I do once in a while, but he's got, his subscribers are going up. I don't think he can uh, keep track of whoever's on there like me. I, 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 there's so many people on my YouTube channel commenting all the time, and I don't know who, whether to reply to it, because then if I do, then they'll be replying back, and it's just never ending, and you just, you can't do that. But like I said, getting back to the Windows, or back to the, um, the Mac, it is slow, yes, because I got the ha half of one terabyte is used on there, and half the RAM I would be surprised if it's used too on Norton and having, I shouldn't have two malware devices running actually. Uh, should be just one man uh, anti malware malware bytes and then one antivirus program, but I think Norton's got uh, malware and spyware thing all together so I don't know I but to me I've seen it on Windows PCs that one usually works and two usually works good and three is usually better yet because number one doesn't find all of it number two does number three finds all of it you know that's how I've seen it um, <clears throat> that bigger Dell over there is a 2014 one I bought that brand new at New Egg and that was like 350 bucks got a one terabyte Western Digital Cabri Blue um, the, the other one had that same hard drive. I took it out because it was uh, the start and stop counts re reached its limit. So I put a Cabri Black, I think, in there now. One terabyte with 64 catch in there. And that slimline. That one's a newer one we got. And that come with Windows 8.1 also. And they both upgraded to Windows 10 without my permission. So whatever. Um, I just thought, well. You know, Windows 8.1 will be outdated before you know it anyway, so might as well let it go because Microsoft has a tendency of doing stupid stuff like that. Um, I'm saying my, uh, Apple does too. Uh, excuse me, I'm losing my voice because it's kind of drying here. <clears throat> but, yeah, however, here's one thing I do love about my Mac has got that uh, FaceTime camera and the microphone and everything. And I like Siri. Watch this here. Siri, will you marry me? Sometimes it works, but this time she don't. She's confused. Look at her. She's confused. She's confused for some reason. She probably didn't hear me. My voice is really cutting out. Let's try it. Will you marry me, Siri? And I lost my internet connection, so that could be why. I see my internet went offline again. Yeah, that's another thing. I'm having problems with my internet. Um, the big company cannot figure out what's wrong with their internet. That's a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, modem's offline, it's flashing. So that's why Siri's not working. You think it'd work without the internet? Obviously, it won't. So, 
Wonderful. I'll have to unplug the modem now again here. Uh, to unplug it again like I'd always do. Leave it unplugged for a few seconds and plug it back in. My TV's not working. So I'm not the only one in town that's their services are not working. They got hacked three times. I don't know. They're upgrading a bunch of crap and I think that's not smart either. Every time somebody upgrades, nothing ever works. Okay, let's plug it in. It's a piece of crap Cisco. I mean, they're all right, but they gave me a used one there. Let's see if it comes online again here. Oh, you stupid autofocus crap. Yeah, see, it's having, it has trouble. It takes forever for these darn things to work. And sometimes it don't come online. I suppose it won't come online now. See how slow they are? Come on, you piece of crap. They'll flash the DS, and then the US, and then the online should flash, and it should all come on. Let's see if it does here. There, the US is flashing. It should initialize up there. Okay, yeah, it will, by golly. I think it will. Maybe. Uh, come on, baby. Come on. You can do it. Come on. There it goes. Thank God. All right, well, guys, it's... I'll try Siri one more time here, and if it doesn't work, then I don't know what the heck the deal is. Um... Siri, will you marry me? You should know that you're not the only one who's asked. Yeah, see, the internet was not working. Okay. See, ain't that pretty cool? I know Cortana is pretty cool, but I don't like Cortana. See, the internet was the problem. Why does Siri need to be connected? Well, I suppose it needs to be connected to the internet, I guess. I don't know. All right, guys. Well, I hope you appreciate it. I have not did a computer update video for a long time and my subscribers from when I first started this channel a long time ago were computer subscribers and I just haven't been interested to do a computer vlog because it just bores me uh, ever since Microsoft kept updating and updating and updating and updating every Microsoft Windows like Windows 7 was really fun to work with and Windows XP and Windows Vista sucked and they kept updating and they went to 8 Windows 8 and then they went to 8.1 and I dreadfully I couldn't keep up you know it's hard to you know take a class learn it and then as soon as you learn it then they come out with some other crap it don't work right and then you come out with this and they come out with this and come out with this Apple is the same thing they've had for years and it's just easier to run that's why I switched it's more user user friendly than a Windows PC and I mean an Apple is more expensive than a Windows PC sometimes there, there, there's good and bads, and sometimes Apple is not really a good thing to get because they're very hard to take apart when a hard drive dies. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and follow me on Twitter. Like I said, um, <laughs> I don't know, Mac or Windows. You, you pick in the comments below. Show me your opinions down below. All right, guys. Until next time. I'm going to send you guys all my winter weather and all the cold weather down to your places. Bye, guys.